Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Madiel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I just needed to de-stress a little bit. I have a lot going on and I figured what better way to do that than to kind of play with makeup and just have fun. I have a couple new products to try today so I figured we could uh, see how those work out. So yeah, if you want to see what I look like at the end of this, then keep on watching. Thanks. All right, you guys, so today I just wanted to kind of play with some new things I got and see how they work. Uh, like I said before, it's been a stressful week. My husband had surgery. I did my egg retrieval for IVF. My mom had a procedure. Um, so it's just been a hectic, last week was hectic, and then this weekend I've just been kind of taking care of my husband. And my sleep's been really off because I've been sleeping in our guest room and blah, blah, blah. So. I needed something to distract me and make me feel normal again, and makeup does that. So, um, one thing I want to talk about before uh, we get started is I get this subscription box. It's called Petite Bloor, and there we go. Um, it's not monthly. I think it's every couple months, or you can sign up to do like a certain amount and pay um, like a flat fee. Um, and basically you get, it's a clean beauty subscription box, so you'll get a mix of skincare, um, hair products, and makeup for the most part. So, I did get a couple makeup items in this, so I wanted to try them out today. But, the cool thing is they give you this little card that has all of the products in it and um, tells you the price of them. So I just wanted to go through and kind of go through that quickly. So the first thing I got is this Fiora Minerals Organic Eyeliner, and this is 18 bucks. Uh, Antioxidant infused eyeliner is perfect for tight lining or smoky look, so we'll try that out today. I got the Cherry Matte um, Primer from Pacifica. This retails for 13 bucks. It says lightweight primer for blurred focus finish with oil control benefits, so we'll try that out today. Uh, next up we have, is it this one? Gold Fade and MD Needleless, so a line smoothing, skin plumping, non-invasive serum that reduces the appearance of fine line depth. This is uh, 19 bucks. I'm assuming it's bigger than this <laughs> the tester, but maybe not. I could be wrong. And then another product from them is the Gold Fade and MD Detox Hydrating Gel, and this retails for 10 bucks. Oil-free skin balancing moisturizer uh, to help prevent future breakouts. And then I got this, uh, it's called a Uni Shower Sheet, it's a dollar, and it's basically on-the-go wipe. That is upstairs, I forgot that I had it. Um, but yeah, so I think these are uh, really cool. It's, um, let's see, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so we're gonna try some of these products. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna try is actually this little guy, this Detox Hydrating Gel. Get our skin plumped. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, it's just a gel. I probably put too much. Who knows? I'm that person that puts like four times what you're supposed to. <laughs> it feels nice. It almost kind of is not like sticky, but like a little tacky for sure. So that's good. The next thing I wanted to try is the Cherry Matte Mattifying Primer. I'm usually not like a matte person, but um, I figured what the heck. I can get oily like here in my T-zone for sure. I'm dry everywhere else, but we could put it in those spots. And it also is supposed to um, blur, I believe. So we'll see if that's true. I love Pacifica. They're an affordable, clean brand. You can find them at Target. Um, I highly recommend them. I want to try their Alighten foundation. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but that's definitely on my list. I love their concealer. Um, I love a ton of their products, actually. So, just take out this little seal. But yeah, I like subscription boxes because it's a nice way to try products out without going and buying the full thing right off the bat. Because a lot of stuff is, you know, expensive. So this still feels tacky, but it feels good. I'm all about that moisturized life, okay? My skin is like a cactus, always. All right. So, I actually just have... Oh, this is what it looks like. Okay. So, that's what it looks like. Kind of lotion-y. Smells like 
like lightly like cherry, but it's not crazy. This is probably way too much. Dang it. <laughs> Hold it here. And our teeth in. Look at that. Too much. I guess we'll go over the whole face. <laughs> We're gonna be matte today. But anyway, I just signed up for BoxyCharm uh, on a recommendation, and that I think is 20 bucks a month. And you get five full-size products, which is pretty crazy because a lot of times one product costs 20 to 30 if not more. So getting five products for that amount is pretty awesome. All right. So that feels tacky for sure. Um, let's see what it looks like up close. It looks like I put um, sunscreen on. I don't know why it's like peeling. Maybe that's mixing those two products wasn't a great idea. But it's okay. I think you kind of see it like mattifying and blurring right here. I don't know if you can tell over there, but I can tell a little. So, all right. I don't hate that. Don't mind my hair. It's humid here and rainy, and my hair and the rain don't get along. So, it looks shitty. But anyway. <laughs> So I think today let's let's play with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. It's a two-in-one foundation concealer. This is the color Light Natural. I also was just thinking, I bought this Smith 115 brush because Jamie Genevieve uses it all the time. And I bought it and then totally forgot I put it back here in this brush holder and I never use it. So I'm like, why don't I use it? See if it works. She uses it all the time. And her skin always looks amazing. So Anywho, I'm just going to take a couple pumps of this. It's definitely a stiff brush. Or maybe that's just because mine's new and I don't ever use it. which I don't love but it also could be mine super stiff um, I don't like use it a lot so I don't have a great technique so I'm not gonna hold it against it I'm gonna keep trying it but I did go over everything with the beauty blender just to kind of smooth it out and get rid of any ugh, there's a bug in here um, any lines that I saw my nose is looking real mad I don't know it's like getting caught I think that little Hydro gel is maybe not a great idea because I feel like it's getting cut. my foundation's getting caught up on my nostril, which is really cute. So anyway, so one thing I wanted to use again because I only used it the one time when I first got it was the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer. I remember really enjoying it, but I just haven't like used it since. I haven't really been putting makeup on just because we've been so busy and kind of so I just do like a CC cream or a tinted moisturizer and then move along with my day. I don't do too much. The only place I have to go today is Target. I bought this fan since I've been sleeping in our guest room. And I can't sleep without like a little bit of white noise. And it's hot as hell in that room, uh, which is really fun for me. But um, the fan I bought and put together and was super excited about didn't work when I plugged it in, so I have to go back and return it. But. So I'm just going to target, um, but at least we'll look decent. Hopefully more than decent, but take decent. So this is the color C11. Uh, it's like a neutral undertone. Or I actually think it might be a pink undertone. Uh, but it's really nice. It blends out really smoothly and easily. So I just wanted to use it again because I do enjoy it. I enjoyed it, I should say, the first time. 
Um, I did just order his jaw, his new Jawbreaker palette. I believe it's, um, I don't know, 20 something shades in it. And they're all like really pretty for summer. And there's color and some, a couple neutrals to kind of uh, even the palette out. But I'm super pumped about that. I haven't gotten it yet though. I'm also going to use his Magic Star um, powder. And this I got in Rose, which is definitely like a pink undertone. And I'm just going to do that under my eyes very lightly with the Beauty Blender. This smells so good, you guys. Let's see. I'm going to eat it. All right, we look like a ghost. We look like a ghost. Anywho, so let's bronze up this face a little bit. I'm gonna use my Well People Bronzer stick and my Clarisonic Mia. This guy with the makeup brush head attachment, I love it. Makes your life so easy. Yeah, two seconds. Blended. Blended. she got um, I think maybe in her boxy charm box uh, but she was sweet enough to just send them to me she obviously supports my channel and um, so she wanted to give me some stuff that she thought I would like which I really really appreciate oh here's that uni body wipe that I said was upstairs that's a lie it was right in front of me so one of the things she was kind enough to send me was a blush and it's in the color Camellia, or Camellia, and it's a shimmering skin perfector luminous blush, which I love. It's a beautiful color for summer. Let's see if I can swatch it. Blushes don't. Oh, that's yeah. Can you see it? It's kind of like a perfect mix between like a peach and a pink. Let me find my blush brush. So I love this Real Techniques brush. It looks pigmented. Let's go easy. Take it easy, Anna's Camellia. That's super pretty. I love that. When I saw it in the pan, I was like, that's going to be really nice. I'm like, blush is one of my favorite things. I think it makes the biggest difference. There's that. Now we're cute and flushed. Next, she gave me two highlighters, so she sent me the Laura Gala New York uh, Diamond Dust Gelato Swirl Illuminator, which is really cool. You just have to kind of break through the initial layer of it. Um, let's see. And it's like an iridescent. You can see it right above the blush. Right here. Uh, and then she also sent me the Becca highlighter in Moonstone, which is like a beautiful, kind of like white, super light gold, I guess, shade that I'll probably use today. So it's right above it right here. Becca, Laura Geller. So I think we'll try the Moonstone one. If I can, oh, look who it is. You all know my famous co-star, Kitty. So I'm just going to use this Morphe Y14 brush. And actually, let's spray the face down first and then do that because we're very, very mad. I'm going to use a, a Pacifica Crystal Dew Setting Spray. It's Rose Quartz and Flower Extracts. Also, look how 
how just cute this bag is that she sent me. She sent me another bag that says Blam AF that I love too, and I've taken it out before. Shout out to you, girl. You know who you are. Okay, now with this lovely hair of mine. It looks terrible. But anyway, let's take this. Just dab it in and see. Ooh. All right. Ready? Hello. See that? Beautiful. Love that. All right, so I put that on the cheeks. I love that. It's actually pretty smooth. Like it doesn't seem to enhance texture, which I can appreciate. Uh, I put a little on the nose, a little on the cupid's bow, and then a little above the brows. I'm gonna go back in just with my blush brush with nothing on it and just kind of mesh those two together. Because sometimes if you do highlighter on top of blush, it can look like you just have that line. Um, so I like to go back and kind of go over it and soften that up a little bit. Next, she's cute, okay, um, I'm just going to do a quick eye look, I don't have anything new, I'm going to use the Elamia palette blushing goddess, uh, just do a quick eye look and do my brows and I'll be right back. And some, kind of like a pinky color on the lids, I did this color vintage from the Elamia blushing goddess palette here. And then I ran the color Petal just on the lid a little bit to give us, you know, a little some some. And I used my 100% uh, pure long lasting br uh, brow pomade in soft brown and the Beauty Counter Brow Gel in uh, light for the brows. They may be more of, they're not bad, but they're not great, but I also don't care that much. So. <laughs> um, anywho. So let's move on to, let's see, oh, let's use this um, Fior Minerals Eyeliner. I'm just going to smudge it along my upper and lower lash line. So, let's see. Fior Minerals, um, what's the full name? Defined Lines. So, 100% natural, organic, vegan eyeliner. And it's obviously the color black. Um, and this retailed for 18 bucks. So, not super cheap, but also you have to think of like the quality of ingredients going into it. Also, I think I'm going to try to smudge this out like a tiny bit on my lash line. Oops, we'll see. Mostly just to cover up the fact that I jacked this side up. Okay. Now, should we try to put lashes on and really jack stuff up? Should we? Oh, one of the other things I wanted to show you was she got me this Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow, and it's the color. It's so hard to see because it's like all metallic. Does it say? I don't know if it says a color, but it's like this crazy metallic. It's not, the camera's not really doing it justice, but I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Look at how cool that is. It's like a purpley gold pink shift depending on how you look at it. So that's really pretty. Uh, I'm not going to use it today because it's a little much, but um, we'll use it another day. Just clean up my hand and we will attempt to 
do the lashes for real this time. So I had that egg retrieval, my egg retrieval on Wednesday of last week and she decided it was a good idea to use like my vein right here. You see it? See that bruise? <laughs> Maybe this way's better. Right here. I don't normally bruise and I'm like, that really sucked. One, it hurt, obviously, because it's like a really awkward position to put it. And two, it, I don't know, it hurt. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Just one. Um, so, yeah. So, I have not mastered the art of lashes, as we've all seen. Um, I make such a mess. It's a mess over here. So, we'll see what the hell happens. But, I figured, why not? So you kind of have to trim them to fit your eye. Everybody's eye shapes and sizes are different. I've never, these are supposed to be a really nice brand. I've never obviously used them. I'm just kind of shaking them up a little bit. Don't mind this. Okay. Come on. So let's just put it on our eye and see how it sits, I guess. If it's too long. Let's cut off like a tiny bit in the inner corner. So they kind of flare out on the edge. Kitty! This is what I have to deal with here. I'm cutting off like a tiny bit. You! Get out of here! <laughs> here he is. <laughs> wreaking havoc. Alright you guys. We got one on pretty successfully, I believe. Now, on camera, I think it looks pretty. Like, I don't think it looks super crazy or anything. But in person, it looks insane. Like, I look like Snuffleupagus. Like, I don't know. But, these are super pretty and super full. And maybe I'll play with lashes more. Because I think they look nice. Like, this is without. Obviously, I have some mascara on. Let me put a second coat on, to be fair. This is my Well People... Uh, expressionist mascara in black I love okay so this is without just regular mascara and this is with falsy then so I mean like I said I think they look pretty they feel insane like I can see the shadow so I'm gonna put the other one on and then we'll be back and finish off with the lips Alright you guys, so this one went on a lot faster than this one. I'm already becoming a pro. Just kidding. Um, up close, I don't know if I put them on right. I don't know if they look mocky as hell. I think on camera they look super pretty and I'm low-key loving it. But it would take a while for me to get used to it because they literally look like two mustaches sitting over my eyes. So, But these are really pretty and they look really nice on. So these are Lily Lashes Foam Ink in the color, uh, I don't know. G-A-I-A, -A, whoever knows how to pronounce that. So cool. So lastly, let's do lip and uh, the show on the road. So she sent me this really pretty pink color from Gerard Cosmetics in the color Vintage Rose, which is funny because the eyeshadow color I used was also vintage, called vintage. So let's put this guy on. That's really beautiful. I think maybe I'm going to pop something nude in the center of it. I do have some other Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. It's too dark. Look at you. There's some glitter all over. A tiny bit lighter. And that. And then, she also was kind enough, she sent me literally like 10 products, which was amazing. Um, she sent me this Found Beauty uh, Mint Lip Tint. It's a pretty clear color. This is called Honey Kiss. And we'll just throw that on as a gloss over top. It smells really good, like mint. 
is the name. Alright, so this is how we're looking. I love the way these lashes look in my like monitor. Do I love them in like how they're just sitting right now? They're so distracting. But I kind of low-key love them. Yeah, I'm kind of into it. I don't want to get addicted to lashes just because um I have good lashes, so I don't know if these, like, if wearing them a lot messes up your normal lashes or not. I don't want to risk it, but they are really nice and fun for special occasions if you just want to look extra flirty or whatever the case may be. So I think I'll be taking them for a spin a couple more times. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, I, I think everything was really nice. I really kind of enjoyed um, just taking a mental break and playing with some new stuff that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.